we first study mining spatial associations. Spatial association or spatial frequent pattern share some commonalities as a general association and frequent patterns. For example, the association rules are also in the form of A implies B with certain support and confidence. In this context, A and B could be sets of spatial or non-spatial predicates. The spatial predicates may indicate topological relations or spatial orientations or distant information like close to within certain distance. And the measures support and confidence are very similar to the general ones. The rules we can find could be like if X is a large town and X intersect with the highway, then X is likely to be adjacent to water, like lakes and uh, rivers and ocean, so that with certain support and confidence. In spatial data mining, quite often we would like to explore spatial, spatial autocorrelation. Uh, that means spatial data tends to be highly self-correlated. Nearby things are more related than the remote things. Uh, for example, when we study neighborhood, study temperature, likely we pay more attention to find interesting relationship in the nearby objects. In spatial association mining, there's an interesting heuristic called progressive refinement. The general philosophy is this. For a spatial relationship, there are some rough ones like close to which is generalization of some more refined one like nearby, touch, intersect, contain. They are somewhat all close to. Uh, just give you an example, like here, you probably can see near highway intersection, you may be able to find shopping centers and gas stations. But how close to whether they are very nearby or they are almost touch the highway intersection, so in that sense, those are detailed refined relationships. However, if we first find those close to, they are frequent together, okay, then we, if we want to find more refined, how close to are they really to the intersection? So we can say, if the close to is a frequent pattern, then we are going to study the more refined ones. To that extent, this is the philosophy of progressive refinement. That means we first search for rough relationships and then refine for to study more refined relationships. The general philosophy is if the the rough relationship is not frequent. So there's no need to study the very refined one because they are not frequent as well. Okay. So to that extent we can do two-step mining of spatial association. The first step is we use reasonably cheap or low-cost algorithm like minimum bounding rectangle or R trace for some rough pattern mining. That means we first compute the rough spatial you know, frequent patterns. Then we know if the rough one is frequent, then we are going to get into re refinement process. That means we may study more detailed algorithm using more refined data structure. So this principle can save a lot of mining cost because we first using rough ones, we get a big filter, filter a lot of unnecessary you know, pairs because they are not frequent already. We don't have to refine them. Okay? We don't have to use a refined method to study more refined patterns.